The Prentice also Heating and Air Coaches Corner, fueled by Donut Country and McDonald's Murfreesboro on FM 101.9 and AM 1450 Murfreesboro, FM 100.5 Smyrna, and streaming at WGNSSports.com. We are back on the Coaches Show, brought to you by the law offices of John Day. They've helped thousands of people get legal help when they've needed it the most. If you've been injured, call the law offices of John Day. We are talking Stewart's Creek football this morning. The head coach, Ben Caudill, joining us. And uh, the final score last night, Stewart's Creek 20, Independence 14. And uh, congrats on the win, Coach. Thank you very much. Big night for us. Yeah, it certainly was. Um, we, we talked a lot about it in in Stewart's Creek's history, which 2013, um, you know, had been in the playoffs six times. Uh, counting this season and 0 and 5 this year has been a huge year to to get that monkey off your back you know you did it in the Smyrna series did it uh last night with with the victory and um this is how you this is how you build programs isn't it oh there's no question and uh you know we uh we knew all week uh you know that it was going to be a huge challenge and and it was the uh 0 and 0 Red Hawks versus the you know, O and O Eagles, and uh, you know, I think everything we did up until uh, you know the playoff started, you know, only made it harder for us. You know, putting the target on your back, and um, you know, we knew, you know, that there's been that wall, like you said, you know, before us, and uh, just a lot of close calls. You know, up uh, at Coffee County two years ago, playing a generational Coffee County team, and um, you know. Uh, game went to overtime and last year against Ravenwood up at half tied going into the fourth quarter and uh, we knew this was something that nobody was going to hand it to us we had to go take it and uh, just really proud of the effort uh, of our coaches and, and our players for, for pulling it out over four quarters also something that shows where the, the trajectory of a program you've been in the playoffs I think five of the last six years something like that so you know getting there I mean, and there, Coach, you you know, we've talked about it. There were people that said, "Well, Stewart's Creek's in the Murfreesboro region; they don't have a chance." Well, you did, obviously, and so, but those are those are part of those building blocks too. They are, you know. I was I was at Brentwood High School, and um, you know, the two years I was there, Stewart's Creek didn't make the playoffs, and uh, got a call from Burt Brown one day. Never met him; didn't have his number saved, and uh, you know, breaking through and making the six A playoffs for the first time in 2019 uh, was huge. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, this, this is a big step for our program, you know, and, uh, you know, the first time you do anything, it's really hard and you gotta, you gotta break through that wall. And sometimes you gotta hit it a hundred times and it breaks the hundredth time, but it's not cause you hit it that time. It's cause you've, you know, hit it 99 times before to loosen it up. And, you know, that's why I referenced last night before the game, I, you know, just, uh, there's a lot of guys and a lot of people that have been in our program you know, long before I was a part, uh, and certainly long before, you know, these guys that played last night that, that really worked hard and, and uh, you know, gave us a chance. And so, uh, you know, I'm really proud of, uh, you know, how we handled adversity last night. It was by far, uh, you know, not our best performance across the board, but uh, I thought that uh, we were able to put it together in the second half and make the adjustments that we needed to. And I tell you, you know, shutting down independence – uh, wow. In the second half, you know, posting a shutout, uh, I thought our defense really kind of, you know, set that tone, uh, you know, there in the second half. I thought Daniel Johnson had the best game uh, that he's had all season, a big sack that, you know, was a big momentum changer there in the third quarter. Uh, and, uh, you know, I tell you, holding, holding a triple option offense to 192 yards, I think, total, you know, I'm, I was uh, – I went to school at Harding, was, was a uh, graduate assistant there, triple option. I'm very well aware of, you know, tagging all the practice film and game film with, with that type scheme, and it is tough, and, and you got to be really, really sound and disciplined. Uh, and uh, I think our defense put together a really great performance last night. Broadcaster does too, you know, and you, you, you know, sometimes you don't know that going into the game, and it's like, well, where's the football? And then all of a sudden, the guys on, you know, far side of the field with the football, you know, and you're you're following the play up the middle. So I, yep. I can only imagine what it's like down there, and um, maybe one of the finest looking sophomores I've seen in a while is is behind center for them. I mean, that kid really knows how to yep. to run that option. Oh, no doubt, big six five. Uh, 
quarterback, and uh, you know we saw him in our spring scrimmage against him, and and I uh, thought he made all the right reads last night. Did a great job, uh, you know. And I tell you, you know, looking at Independence, you know, the last several weeks they've really started to play their best football, and you know they shut Brentwood out in the second half, and uh, really just whipped Summit last week. And so we knew we were getting a team that was really hot, uh, and uh, you know, once again, uh, just just proud of. Uh, Proud of what we were able to do at halftime. I was I was proud of the look in our guys' eyes, and and uh, you know I was really proud of how we came out offensively in the second half too. You know we drove it down to about the six yard line, and you know jumped off sides, which just crushed us. And so I felt like you know we uh, you know kind of hurt ourselves there, and and cost us from uh, you know tying the ball game at that moment. But we marched right back down, you know the next two drives, and and took the lead, and. Uh, you know, uh, you know. I thought the way we came out in the second half in all three phases really was the difference in the game. Um, n- there's no doubt. And there was one flag in the first half, and then there were like, I don't know, 50 times more in the second half, it seemed. But yeah. uh, that, that's that's just the way football goes. But uh, I wanted to talk to you about the second half because, uh, you know, they go up 7 nothing. You tie the game. They come back, take the lead, um, and they have that 14-7 lead at halftime and when you come out in the second half um i think on one one drive there were at least three different quarterbacks <laughs> you know I, I, you know so you gave them much different looks on offense and and i think that took them a minute i'm not sure they ever figured it out well i tell you you know it's uh uh you you got to have stuff for the for the second half of ball games maybe that you didn't show in the first half i think who you just talked to coach Creasy, nobody's better at that than him of kind of holding on to something uh, for the second half and because it's harder to, to adjust when you're talking yeah. to kids through a headset or uh you know on the sideline real quick but uh you know I tell you I, I I think that we came out with a great mentality in the second half um and uh you know a lot of credit to independence though I thought they executed their game plan you know really really well uh for about two and a half quarters and uh, you know, I looked up and it was the second quarter. It was the fastest. It was. You know, they were holding the ball and that first and, half uh, went. It flew by. It was like thirty yeah. minutes or yep. forty-five minutes, maybe tops. Yeah, we we had a big bust on a on a third and eleven uh, that uh, you know kind of extended their drive, which was really disappointing. Uh, you know, and I should have called timeout, but but I, I'm really proud of of the look in our guys' eyes once again at halftime and and uh, you know I think I think handling adversity you know is big and uh, especially in, in a playoff environment. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're one of 16 teams left in, in 6A football. And, you know, uh, there are so many people that wouldn't believe that, you know, in, in 2019 and, and uh, you know, how far we've come. You know, it's, it's not just about this season. It's about so much work and so much fundraising and, and just trying to continue to do the right thing each and every year and continuing to grow your program and move it forward. Uh, and last night was, was just such a huge step. I wanted to – briefly talk about that too because you you talk about how you get to the point where you are and there were building blocks that were laid in that foundation before you even got there and um it's it's always good to see david martin you know one of the world's best guys that you'll ever want to meet and he was there at the very beginning uh there were several players there last night yeah he was there last night yeah we had the chance to talk to him uh quite a bit um in in the press box and um you know, we developed a good relationship with him. And, you know, some of the former players that played for him that, that were there, they, they wanted to be there to see what Stewart's Creek, uh, the, the team that they wore the jersey for for four years was about. And I, I, I think they walked away very proud last night. Oh, no doubt. A few of them were there last night. I yeah. got to meet, you know, a few guys that were there before I'd gotten to Stewart's Creek. And, you know, just getting the practice field ready, you know, uh, that took so much work. And, yeah. uh you know, I tell you, it's it's scary to think about where we are right now. We've got 120 plus players. We got 53 lockers. Uh, really excited about some things we can do uh, this off season that might, you know, uh, you know, take us uh, to another place, perhaps. Uh, but uh, I tell you, you know, uh, this program's never made any excuses. We've never leaned on any crutch, uh, and uh, I think that mentality's really helped us. Uh, and uh, once again, I. I uh, I'm just so proud of our players. I'm proud of our seniors. You know, the opportunity to be around each other uh, for one more week and get to practice on Monday is is something we're all excited about. 
Well, Coach, you are the only region team left, and it's uh, it's you versus Williamson County right now, isn't yep. it? Uh, you've got the Brentwood Bruins, a place where you know very well since uh, coming from there. Um, Brentwood has a storied tradition, um, you know, but the good thing about it is they have to come to your place. No doubt. And, I, I you know, first off, I, I just think uh, Coach Finch has done a great job since, you know, Ron took off to Memphis uh, to work with his uh, – uh, son-in-law and uh, you know Clinch just taking it and run with it done a tremendous job you know back when I was at Brentwood there were two people that went up to the box each game and for a year and a half it was just me and Clint so we got to know each other really well I taught his oldest son uh, in class for a year and, and just one of the best kids you will ever meet uh, just incredibly smart um, you know his wife's a principal in Williamson County as well uh, I have so much respect for Clint he's always a guy that you know, I reach out to and ask for advice or wisdom on opponents and, you know, things like that. And and uh, just really proud to uh, have worked with him. And, and uh, you know, Brentwood was a place that really, you know, kind of uh, lifted my career up. You know, it, it, it uh, working with Ron and guys like Clint, it really uh, was kind of like a master's level in coaching for me. Uh, you know, and it was just what I needed at the right time. And uh, I'm very appreciative of my time there and uh, I tell you it's going to be a lot of fun and this is coaches have uh, those building blocks too right they do there's no question <laughs> and uh, you know Brentwood is is just such a well-coached team uh, they're really really dynamic in all three phases uh, obviously uh, going to be a tremendous challenge but one that I know we're excited about and uh, you know uh, means a lot to me that that we get to host you know um, and uh, another opportunity to be in front of uh you know, our community uh, is really special. Uh, and this is going to be a great challenge for us. It's it's going to be the biggest challenge I think we've seen, not just this year, but but in the past uh, several years perhaps. And so um, really proud of our guys and uh, for getting us in this position. And I know it's one that, that we're going to have to work really hard uh, uh, and get the right plan in place next week. Well, Coach, uh, congrats on making it to the uh, state's final 16. It's history making and you know there's 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 more history to be made the the history book isn't written just yet is it <laughs> let's hope not and uh i tell you you know we need to enjoy this for now uh but uh it's back to work monday and and uh you know it's going to take all hands on deck next week against a really good brentwood team well want to thank uh, all the administration um dr harrell um uh, todd harris everybody who made uh, our trip to Stewart's Creek last night fun it was a great football game and the right team won that one so coach congrats again <laughs> yes sir hopefully y'all had a few of those wings as well oh so. yeah yeah <laughs> you eat pretty good in the press box at Stewart's Creek that's for sure always the head coach yeah. of the uh, Stewart's Creek Red Hawks Ben Caudill joining us this morning and as you would say go Red Hawks that's right fine. go Red <laughs> all right coach's show brought to you by Ideas Tees who will be happy to help you fulfill your imprinted apparel embroidery advertising specialty needs ideastees.com Hello, this is Coy Young at Las Casas Feed Supply. We'd like to welcome you 